like a ton of bricks Doesn't matter weak or strong Take your time and do your tricks All I do is sing along So before we start, let me just show you what's on the menu So I have some chocolate croissant And this we got from Trader Joe's and I've got some chicken taquitos. I have some chicken sausage. This was also from Trader Joe's. I'm going to be making some bacon. I have some chicken wings that I got from Costco. I've got some chimichurri rice. And this was also from Trader Joe's. And I have some macarons. And I'm also, that was also from Trader Joe's. And this is some lady fingers from Trader Joe's. So now we can start. So if you decide to use this, what you have to do nine hours before you're about to bake it, you have to take it and set it out because you want it to rise. So I lightly brushed my pan with some butter and I set it out and now it's been eight hours. And also, if you want it to shine, you have to crack an egg and just brush the top. So I have an egg right here. I'm gonna crack it. I'm gonna take my fork and I'm just gonna beat it up. And then I'm gonna take my brush and just put it on it before I throw it in my oven. Depending on the strength of your oven, it should take about 20 to 25 minutes. So let's crack this egg and start beating it. So now that I've beat it, I'm just going to take my brush and just and if you don't need it to be shiny, you can skip this process. But I think when you do put the egg on it, it just gives it that brownish color. And the presentation looks wonderful. So this is the last one. I have my oven that has been preheated to 350 degrees. So that is done and we're going to stick those bad boys in the oven. So remember this is just quick we're going to be doing these chicken wings in the air fryer i washed it and i just used my paper towel and dried it so i have some black pepper you can see some the taste but i'm going to tell you what i'm using so i'm putting some black pepper on mine i'm using paprika i'm using some garlic powder I'm going to be using some cayenne pepper. So I forgot to tell you the umami seasoning. It's it has it's mainly for Asian dishes, but it has like mushroom flavor in there. So if you like mushroom, I really suggest you try it. So I'm going to do a preset the air fryer that I have has the chicken wings um, preset and so I'm gonna do it for 400 degrees and I'm gonna do it for 25 minutes so I'm gonna open and just slide it in so the last thing we're gonna do I'm gonna put avocado oil because I want it crispy and the reason I'm using avocado oil because it can withstand higher heat so that's why I'm not using olive oil so I'm just gonna put a little bit Let's go on to my air fryer. Now we're moving on to the chimichurri rice. And I'm gonna put, I have my pan. I'm gonna put one tablespoon of oil. And 
and two tablespoons of tap water. So now I'm going to dump the rice and I'm going to cook it for five minutes, stirring occasionally. It smells wonderful. All the seasoning they put in there, the aroma. I can't wait to eat and I wish you guys were close by. I will invite you for brunch also. I just took this out of the oven and I'm just gonna, you can see the um, chocolate. And I'm just gonna set it a little bit for it to cool down a little bit. Well, I've got about two more minutes and I'm just stirring it a little bit. The rice is done and I'm gonna take it out and plate it. I preheated the oven to 375 and I'm just going to lay my bacon out. Remember I told you this is quick and easy. So we're not going to fry, we're just going to bake it. And I got all kinds of alarms going on with all the things I'm cooking. So if you hear things going, some of it is just my alarm on the stove, the one on the air fryer. There's a lot going on here because I'm pressed for time. And this will be in the oven for 25 minutes. But check it halfway because you know I told you temperature in different stoves um, can cook faster or slower. So it's halfway cooked and now I have to flip it. See because of that oil how golden brown it looks. Quick and easy. Okay, I'm about to plate the rice. You know, presentation, not besides cooking the food, but presentation is everything. So get some parsley or some cilantro and just put a little bit on the top. And you also want to invest in some pretty serving trays and I will be showing you that also. Every time you're entertaining, you must get fresh flowers. So I got these at Trader Joe's and they're very inexpensive. And this tray is what I'm gonna use to put my dessert around the flowers. I also got these at Trader Joe's and look how beautiful they are. And like I say, very inexpensive. So all of these were from Home Goods. And you want to keep your colors kind of interesting so we have the white and then I have a wooden one. So I have the taquitos and I have the sausages. That's what's left to prepare. And once I do that, we'll set the table. So the chicken wings is ready. And I'm going to start to plate it. last one. I have some blue ch cheese um, dressing and so I'm just going to put some of my cilantro and like I said if you don't have cilantro you can use parsley and I'm also going to take some and just put it on my wings just for presentation it just looks pretty. So the bacon is done. I'm going to take it out of the oven, drain the fat and then I'm going to plate it. 
So you see it came out perfect. I drained the fat and I just did my paper towel, just blot it a little bit. So you don't have to fry bacon, just throw it in your oven and watch it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna collect it into a stack. And I'm just gonna take the entire stack because we're gonna be putting other things around it. So this is what the stack is gonna look like. So the last thing I have to do is the torquitas. I'm gonna put it in my air fryer on 400 degrees for about six minutes. So the last thing I have to do is make a salsa for the torquitas. So I got um, one tomato, I'm gonna to use half. I have a red onion, I'm gonna use half of that. And I'm gonna use lemon. I'm gonna use some cilantro, some salt, and black pepper. I'm gonna put this aside. And the tomatoes, I'm gonna to be taking the seeds out. This is how you want it. So this is what it looks like. I'm gonna put everything in this bowl. I'm gonna squeeze lemon, one on top with other seeds, and then I'm gonna put the black pepper and the salt. So I'm just gonna stir it, and everything is gonna go on top of the torquitos. The torquitos ready. Let's start plating it. taking it out of the air fryer. I'm just gonna put some on the top. So I have Pinot Grigio, and my daughters and I, we love to support black businesses. So I got this Black Girl Magic Rosé, and I love to drink that. And I think people should also try and support black businesses. So if you have a black business and you want me to support you, just go into my email, my business email, and reach out to me. So the last thing we need to do is plate the desserts. So I'm placing the lady fingers on one side. And now we're going to go on to the other side to do the macarons. This is the sausage right off the oven. If you want, you can cut it, but I'm not gonna cut it. I'm gonna plate it just like that. So this is the sausage plated. And the last thing I'm gonna do is just garnish it. I'm gonna be garnishing with blueberries and strawberries. I'm gonna wash them and we're gonna start um, garnishing. So the goal is to fill up the empty spaces on the tray. So. I'm just gonna put this one right here. So I'm filling out the rest of the space with blueberries. So this is where the lady fingers and the macaron with some flowers. I have my toquitos and I have the chicken wings and some blue cheese dressing. I have my croissant that has chocolate in it. We have sausage, we have the um, bacon, and then just garnish it with strawberries and blueberries. 
and then I have my rice right here and don't forget we have the wine which is the Pinot Grigio and then we have the Black Girl Magic Rosé so it's time to dig in thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel hit that notification button so each time I upload you will be notified and make sure to give it a thumbs up. I love you guys and have a great day. Bye-bye.